guys, I'm here at Jang Tu and I'm gonna be getting the ingredients to recreate that I'm done from Parasite. So this this is what I'm gonna be making, but I'm not, I'm not gonna buy the pre-mixed one. Actually maybe I will. We'll get both and see which one tastes better. So to make to make the chapaguri, I need chapagetti, which is this guy right here. And I also need, and then I also need the spicy neguri with the udon noodles, which is this one. So I'm gonna go, oh, it comes in taped together. How convenient. This footage is so convenient. Do they have, oh yeah, there it is. Pre-made chapaguri. Maybe we'll just grab one of those two. So right now, my cart, I have the chapaguri, I have the neguri, I have the chapaguri, and I also have some cilantro, because I just really like cilantro. Hey guys, today we're back in the kitchen and we are making Ramdan from the movie Parasite. Uh, you may have seen this before on a couple of different channels, so today I'm going to try it out. Quick disclaimer, before I try and say any of these products, I apologize in advance. Uh, I'm obviously not Korean, so I'm not pronouncing these properly. Alright, so the things you're going to need are chapagetti and nioguri, and we're going to mix these together. And since this dish has gained popularity, actually, I'm pretty sure this is a new product, but the company mixed them both. Um, has come up with Chapaguri, which is, I guess, now the semi-official title, I'm not sure. But this exists, so I'm gonna make this, as well as these two, and I'm gonna see which one tastes better. Okay, to make this dish, I'm gonna be using one pack of each, so one Chapaguri and one Nioguri. Chapaguri, Nioguri. And I'm going to be using the noodles from both. Pop those out. So this one supposedly has a thicker, more udon style noodle, versus this one has a thinner ramen style noodle. But I mean, they're, they're pretty much exactly the same. So they'll cook at the same time. Okay guys, now everything is done. I have prepared the chapagetti with the nioguri together here. And I also have, according to the package instructions, the pre-done chapagetti version. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. It looks... Now I'm gonna do my homemade version. So I have the reserved stock here. I have both the noodles. Let's have a look at that. So that's the reserved stock. Now I'm gonna add in all of the noodles and some of the veg is in there as well. These are stuck to the top. I can cut this out, that's fine. Now we're gonna add in the chapagetti packet, I guess you call it. It's the flavor, flavor mix, the spice mix. We'll sprinkle that in. Okay guys, the moment of truth, the taste test. So I have the pre-done chapaguri, the store-bought, you know, all mixed in version. And then I have the homemade version where I mix 
the neoguri and the chapagatsi together with some stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one first. It's hot. It's kind of funky. Honestly, it's not bad. You get the, the seafood and the nori flavor from the neoguri, also the spicy side of that. I'm not tasting any of the black beans from the chapagetti, uh, which is kind of disappointing because it's supposed to be mixed with the two dishes, but that is the store-bought version. It's not terrible. And now the homemade version with the steak. Let's see the noodles first. Yeah, this one, definitely worth making at home. Get the chapagetti and the neoguri, mix them together. Uh, steak if you can. And yeah, you definitely taste the black bean as well as the spicy from the neoguri and the chapagetti. I can see why people like this, honestly. It's, it's, it's really good. <laughs> so, cheers.